So I did a poll on Instagram and asked you what kind of videos you wanted to see and I was actually surprised how many of you really, really wanted a cleaning video. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. There's definitely some cleaning that needs to be done in this house. So if you're interested in that, then that's what's gonna happen. But also I just quickly wanna say that if you're not subscribed to my vlogs, I pretty much do a lot of cleaning over there as well. So my vlogs are always linked down below and at the end of every video. But let me go ahead and show you guys what's going on in the bedroom because that's where we're gonna start first. I got up and already made my bed this morning, but there's still a couple of things that I wanna do. We're gonna go ahead and dust. Also, this is a little behind the scenes. This is where I filmed uh, Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul. So stay tuned for that, but I need to get all of this picked up and I need to do, like I said, some dusting. We're gonna do some vacuuming. Plus one area that I really, really wanna get to are the vents. I don't know if you can see, but that's pretty dirty. And the ceilings are really tall, which means I'm gonna have to get out the ladder. But this is one of the things that I do definitely wanna tackle um, in today's video. So let's get started. All right, so getting started on the cleaning. And as a routine, I always tackle my bedroom first. I'm not entirely sure why that is, but I'm just cleaning up after filming my video. Um, this is a process I do pretty much every day. And then I get all the items sorted into um, specific bags. Some bags go into the kitchen, um, like this bag right here where I'm packing the marshmallows and things like that. And that will go into the kitchen and the mugs in the kitchen to get cleaned. And then whatever else is like decor that I'm gonna take back out for decorating, I put by the stairs and then I will take it up into the craft room. Then I take down um, the studio light and I get my blinds back open to just bring in more light into the house. And once I do that, then I get my lights um, put away and tucked into the office. If you need any cleaning motivation, just, you know, clean along with me. I love doing that. It really helps me to um, get motivated and clean because sometimes I just don't want to. I know a lot of the times my house um, is very tidy and that's really primarily due to the fact that it's just me and my daughter and my daughter's off at college most of the time anyway. So obviously my house is just going to stay um, a lot cleaner, but sometimes I do let things pile up because I just don't feel like putting things away. So it, it was a rainy day and I thought after asking you guys what videos you wanted to see from me and a lot of you really requested to clean with me, so this is for you guys. Um, so I'm just going through the bathroom at this point, just kind of tidying up. I really didn't need to clean the bathroom too much because I had already done it a couple of days prior to this. Um, but I had some bath bombs that I had bought from Amazon, so I wanted to get them put up in a little basket. So that's what I'm doing here, just kind of getting things also out of their packaging as well. Something that I just simply do not do enough of and that's dusting and I'm honestly surprised at how dusty the house gets again with just primarily me and my dog living in it and then also my daughter sometimes and it's just it's amazing the amount of dust that gets accumulated. So I'm giving all of my furniture some good dusting here, the base of the lamps as well. And yeah, so all the, the nightstand tabletops. I also do the bed. I couldn't believe the amount of dust that was on the, the top of the bed post. Um, I get a shot of it. Hopefully you guys will really kind of be able to see the dust, but it feels so good to wipe away all of that and make sure that you always dust first and then vacuum after.
Whenever I do clean, I always show you guys that I do a linen spray and I always get asked where I get my linen sprays from. I got these from Tuesday morning a while back. It's probably time to replace them. I'm not sure what the expiration date is on it, but a really great place to get them is also at Amazon if you don't have a Tuesday morning. All right, here is the vent. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe how dusty it was. And I was intended on using an all-purpose cleaner because for some reason I thought it was going to be like sticky and hard to remove from the vent but as soon as I took the duster to as you can see it just came clean right off so I didn't actually need to use the all-purpose cleaner whatsoever and just like that it was just spanking clean and I, I love that it was probably my favorite part of the entire cleaning was cleaning the vents there's just nothing like knowing that I don't know you're breathing in I guess cleaner air and at this point I'm making my way up the stairs to take those items from Dollar Tree that goes up into my craft room until it's time to bring back out the Christmas decor which I will be doing in November. I do a lot of Christmas decorating, a lot of wrapping videos, so if that's of any interest to you, subscribe before you leave. And then I had to go upstairs because I had to get this item which is brand new. I just got it from Amazon and you guys I'm obsessed with this it's a carpet and upholstery like cleaner and you just sprinkle it on the carpet it's lemon and eucalyptus and it is the best smell with my dog Loxy and having carpet it just can smell like dog especially because she sleeps in the room with me and so whenever I wake up because I keep the door closed because I don't want her roaming around oh my gosh the the dog smell is not good and I clean her bed and she gets like her baths but there's just that dog smell sometimes you know so this carpet cleaner was I love it now I know that they have like the arm and hammer stuff and for some reason I always still just smell dog but this one is supposed to be like an odor blaster and I feel like it really worked I could definitely smell the lemon and eucalyptus and it just smelled clean too so I'm giving now that I've finished dusting I'm now giving my room um, a good vacuum and that's usually the last step in cleaning my bedroom And then I work my way into the living room. I guess I kind of clean in a similar way that you read, you know, just from left to right. Um, so I don't know, does anyone else kind of do that or do you just kind of like bounce here and there? But this is what I always do, bedroom, living room, kitchen. So uh, this living room desperately needed some help. This couch, I knew when I bought this couch that it was going to be um, time consuming but you'll see why in a second right now I'm obviously folding some laundry that I'd put on the couch so I'm getting that taken care of sorting through it obviously my pile my daughter's pile and then any of my kitchen towels that need to go in my kitchen drawer so getting that finished <music> And I take my book that I've been reading. I'm not done with it yet, but I am gonna go ahead and put it back up in its spot for now. And I have a section entirely on a shelf just for this particular author, just in case you don't follow all of my videos. Um, on my vlog channels, I do a lot of book hauls. I sort my books and things like that. So if you're interested in that, um, subscribe to my vlog channel. Then I'm kind of taking care of this section on my couch. This is just where I hold all the remotes and then like my iPad. I have my charging station here. I know it's not cute to see the wires, but it really works and I like being able to have like my quote unquote charging stations readily available. So I don't mind that um, a lot of the like wires show, but I do kind of tuck away, tuck it away a little bit. This is what I was referring to earlier. This couch is like high maintenance. 
Um, it definitely requires fluffing every single day. And I think that what I need to do is buy more filler so that I don't have to fluff every single day. So I definitely need to do that. If you have any suggestions, um, I've been kind of searching on Amazon, but if you have any like suggestions on how to do this, please comment it down below. But I knew what I was getting into when I bought this couch, um, but I feel like once I do get in some extra filler, it will be um, a little bit less high maintenance. Uh, and you can really tell a difference with this couch too when it's been sat in versus when it's like, like I me mean, look at this, it's completely fluffed and beautiful and all of that. So then of course I'm just taking care of the pillows and taking care of my fall blanket, getting that into its spot. And I'm doing the same thing for my chair. I have to fluff the pillows because my daughter loves sitting in this chair and just making sure that the pillows maintain their shape. If you're new, hey, I'm a movie gal. I'm I'm all I always have something going on. I think that having movies on the TV, especially since I work from home, it just it's just such a nice cozy feeling to have certain movies on going on in the background. And because of that, sometimes I have a lot of DVDs that are out, so they need to get put up. Um, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of getting some of them slotted away. And I think on the TV, I'm running You've Got Mail. So that's going. And then all of the other DVDs that I've watched, like Hocus Pocus, Girls Trip, Goonies, all of that needs to go ahead and get back into their spots and tucked away. Now, would it be a video of mine if I didn't mention Vanessa? I mean, of all the videos, I should be mentioning her in this one specifically, right? If you don't know who I'm talking about, I will link her Instagram down below, but she owns her own cleaning service and she gives cleaning tips on her social media accounts. And her tips are just earth shattering, love them, and, um, you know, obviously there's a lot of tips that, that I know, but she gives me like that motivation to, to do these things. It's like also a reminder. And one of the things she talked about was like moving furniture. And when I did, I found this spider web. Like how crazy, this is a real life spider web. So I'm getting all of that vacuumed up and Loxie's hair accumulates a lot on the stairs. Now I didn't do a lot of the cleaning on the, the stairs, or actually none at all in this video because I had just vacuumed it, but every day the the wood part of the stairs definitely needs some treatment. You saw a lot of dust there, so we got that taken care of. And then after Christmas and the holidays are over, a project of mine is actually going to be um, to restain and refinish the, the wood part of the stairs because some of it is kind of chipped away, so stay tuned for that. And then I get the chair moved back in. Now this, this was the only piece of furniture that I moved, but before I think I do my Christmas decorating, I'm going to use that time 
to move some furniture around and get areas underneath it vacuumed as well. So then, of course, I like to light my candles as well. You know, it was rainy outside, so it was overcast, a little bit dark in the house. So adding the ambiance of candles, I just really love it. it. Makes me feel very cozy. And then I tackle this console table in the living room. I forgot I didn't film the the top part, but I did dust the top part as well. So this is just the bottom shelf, so I'm getting that dusted. And then I light my candles, my LED candles as well. So I get all of those going. And then it's time to tackle the kitchen. Listen. <sighs> Kitchens, they never stay clean for very long, do they? The first thing that I actually do is I tackle this one specific cabinet in this video where I wanted to organize it. I went upstairs, got these Dollar Tree organizing bins and knew that I wanted to organize like the medicine stuff and turn this area into my medicine cabinet. So the shelves are actually pretty dusty and dirty. I gonna be honest when I moved in I didn't even really wipe these down very much there were some cabinets that I did wipe down but I don't think I wiped these down so yuck so I'm getting those nice and clean but these stains were here before if anybody knows how to remove those please comment and let me know and then I'm taking all of the the medicine the vitamins I'm taking all of that down and cleaning the top two shelves as well and then we're going to organize them into my Dollar Tree clear bins and get those um, into the shelves And I love that I still have some room for growth here and to add a couple more buckets. So I definitely need to pick up um, some more of these at the Dollar Tree. They are spectacular. I love how clear they are. You can really see through them well. The top of the lid is clear as well and they're easy to stack on top of each other. Um, so you get that extra vertical space to store. I mean, I just love the way that it looks. And when it comes to medicine and vitamins, I want to be able to see what's in the boxes. So this really worked out well for me. And yeah, so that made me incredibly happy and it just felt like a weight was off my shoulders to get one area organized. So then it's time to basically, you know, do the whole cleanup, get all of this stuff off the the countertops, get the countertops wiped down, and I do have granite. I don't always clean my granite with the Dawn soap, maybe once in a while. Um, I have a granite cleaner, but for some reason in my mind, I always feel like sometimes I need to do a little bit of Dawn soap. I literally don't know why that is a thing in my mind. I don't know if I just don't believe that granite cleaners clean. <laughs> um, I don't know, does anyone else have that same mentality? I literally don't know what that is, but that's what I'm gonna do. And the granite countertops take a while. There's a lot of surface to clean up.
and the granite came out so shiny and beautiful so I absolutely love how clean they look also stay tuned because we're going to DIY those bar stools not in today's video it's actually probably going to end up being a video on my vlog channel but we're going to be we're going to be changing it up so they're going to become a little bit more white to match the overall um, aesthetic of the kitchen and it's time to tackle the dishes i would love to tell you guys that my kitchen stayed this clean for at least a few hours but i kid you not 10 minutes later and i had a sink full again <laughs> yes and I, I'm not gonna lie to you either, I screamed a little, I screamed a little, um, but I couldn't put it in the dishwasher because the dishwasher was running, and, uh, but that's just that's how it goes, it's a kitchen, like, you know, it's what it's for. Now there's a couple of things I want to mention before we kind of come to a close because I'm going to basically, you know, clean the countertops and that is where I finish cleaning for the day. The library had already actually been done in a, a different day so I didn't need to dust it or vacuum it because so it was already clean. Um, I'd actually planned to do the upstairs in this video but my back was done. Like my back was just killing me. And I was like, okay, this is it. L let's call this a part one downstairs edition and we will tackle the upstairs in another video. So thumbs up if you definitely wanna see the upstairs clean with me. Um, also, the other thing I wanna say is because it was a rainy day, I mean like rainy, very misty, Loxy was bringing in, you know, just wet paw prints, all of those things. I did not tackle the kitchen floor because of that. I really need to clean the grout in the kitchen. So we, I will include that in the next clean with me as well. So that needs to be done. But this is for those of you who asked for a clean with me video. This video is dedicated to you. Thank you so much. Leave me your video requests down below and I'll see you guys next time.